Cheers, Dave. 110, oh well. Alrighty, we got a bag of potatoes and Mr. Potato Head. And we're recalibrating the ammo to be a certain caliber. I would say that caliber would be in the 500 range. Which is. Uh, yeah, that's a lot bigger than anti aircraft. That's anti tank caliber. Definitely anti tank caliber. So some of them we're going to freeze and some we're going to leave raw. And we're going to check out some carnage afterwards. <laughs> and the rest he's making chips with. <laughs> All right, look at those look at those little thin edges. We can fry those up and make something good. We have a victim who's willing. A man standing alone in his field. He's out standing in his field. And this is the cannon. Windsor boy. <laughs> this tank holds compressed air, which we just filled up with our compressed air line. Switch. It's got a valve from an irrigation system that works electronically. Large diameter output for maximum airflow. We've got a wad of paper shoved down there. And we have some potato peels. So nothing is going to cause internal hemorrhaging. And we're going to shoot that coward who keeps running away farther and farther. <laughs> I won't pick you up hitchhiking no matter how much leg you show me. I, we'll just test it out from this distance. Oh! You want, lucky you still now, uh, pretty good. Uh, I want you to scream like a girl when you get hit. Now, this kid made this for a science project. Joseph Rota. Did you pass? Definitely. <laughs> what mark did you get? 87. Are you shooting out? What's the bottom of the negative? It makes no difference. <laughs> Did you get him? <laughs> well, now you're a peeler. You just got hit by a potato peel. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Oh. Wow. Now imagine what a real potato would feel like instead of a peel. I might do it later. <laughs> Get some more beer. <laughs> We're going to see if, is this raw potato or potato peel? Raw potato. Raw potato, not frozen. See if it breaks a window on a Cavalier. Oh. And fire! Dude. It does! <laughs> you broke my car, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It went through both! Went no, the other one didn't have a window. Oh. Uh, hey, now we gotta try front windshield. Oh, cool. <laughs> now we gotta try front windshield, it's got slopage. Oh my god! So imagine it getting hit with that. Oh my that. god! I just like boost. Okay, front windshield now. Bra potato, front windshield not froze. Young anarchist. He may only look 16, but he's actually 18. All right. We're doing the ammo deflecting front windshield because it's on an angle. Just All like right. modern tanks. They make their side armor on an angle for deflection purposes. We're adding 120 pounds of compressed air. Three, two, one. Put it on. Put it on. You can't. Oh. Uh, we have smudgeage. I like the echo effect. Killing my ears. <laughs> okay, now we're try trying armor piercing artillery. We haven't done any damage to that window yet. Okay. I don't. That's random caliber, of course. Whatever works. <laughs> and some precise ramming. You got your paper ball in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, here, wash the windshield now. Three, two, one, find the hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See that? That's armor piercing. There we go. There you go. Cool. Now we have a diesel head bolt shoved through a potato, soon going to be rammed down there to see if it works as armor piercing artillery. Yeah, yeah. Do it again. Do another. Oh, she's right tight, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Wow! I don't know if it went sideways or it went through, but definitely made a difference. You need a slow mo cam now. No, it must have went sideways. Look at that! Almost right through. The oh, oh, right through. The well, my Camry's out <laughs> finally. And he loves it. You love this car, don't you? This is awesome. I it's love a it. rocket ship. No, it is. Of course, the driveway was longer. Hey. <laughs>